What's up, fiends? Alucard here. Today, we're going to talk about a movie from 1916 called The Devil's Needle. All right, so The Devil's Needle was originally released in the year 1916, like I said. Uh, that print, of course, is unfortunately lost. We do not have a copy of the 1916 version. However, in 1923, there was a re-release, and that print survives at the Library of Congress, which is what we're looking at today. So the one I'm talking about is from the 2012 Kino Lorber edition of the Blu-ray. Uh, it is it is packaged with two other films, uh, but this is and this set is called The Devil's Needle and Other Tales of Vice and Redemption. So I'm just going to talk about The Devil's Needle today. I'll probably get to the other ones later in other videos. Uh, but the, this film has been uh, mastered in high definition from a good 35 millimeter positive of the 1923 re-release version. Now this print is, it's a bit worn. Uh, there's film scratches and dust and extensive sections of nitrate decomposition. Um, the end of the film being the most severe in that department. Luckily, it, it is watchable. Uh, it's a little tough to see it in a couple little points, but it is watchable. Uh, now, The Devil's Needle was directed by Chester Withy and stars Norma Talmadge and Tully Marshall. Um, it was released by Fine Arts Film Company and runs for approximately 66 minutes. Uh, for this 1923 version, some of the character names were changed and I'm not really sure why. Um, I had the list of the original names, but it's not all that interesting why they changed them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why they changed them. Um, but anyway, so The Devil's Needle is about a drug addict model slash assistant to an artist. And she inadvertently gets the artist hooked on drugs as she expresses how the drug could like spark his creativity. So now the artist selects the daughter of a wealthy man as his next model, uh, much to the chagrin of his assistant, who is secretly in love with him, of course. Uh, the wealthy model also falls head over heels for the artist, and they actually secretly marry. Um, and the rest of the film is kind of the artist and his descent into like this drug induced hell. It's crazy. Um, so I could, I'm leaving a few things out here because I, you know, cause I actually want you to watch this. Um, it, it's, it, it's a really great like anti-drug movie, you know, it, it, it really is. Um, and the, the performance of uh, Tully Marshall here is really fantastic. Like he, he steals the show. Um, he goes from like this insanely focused artist to like it's this insane drug fiend like and it's just like you see it happen and it's it's yeah it's so cool. Um, the movie's fairly realistic in its uh, depiction of addiction, um, and there's a really brilliant part where the artist is sitting there. He's and he's he's sitting in front of a fireplace. And his, illusion, his hallucinations uh, start appearing in the fireplace. And he's just kind of sitting there sucking on the needle and stuff. And it's, oh, man, it's it's so weird and bizarre and just pathetic. Uh, it's a great shot. And it's a great moment in the movie. Um, so, of course, this movie is available on Blu-ray and DVD from Kino Lorber. Um, and, it's, and it's also available right here on YouTube. So I will leave the links of all of that stuff in the description below, the Kino stuff and the YouTube. Um, yeah, so you can check it out. Um, so I'm going to give this movie uh, 3.75 bats out of 5. Yep, it's a, it's more than 3.5, not quite a 4.0. So I, I went with 3.75, first time ever. Um, it's well worth your time, though, if you like like intense, dramatic movies. Um, you know, there's no, it's not a, it's not a horror movie. There's no jump scares or anything like that. 
um, just the the frightening reality of addiction. And it's really well done. The performances are great, and it's it's sort of a it's sort of a hidden gem that I think a lot of people don't know about. So there you go. All right, guys. Until next time, remember to stay spooky. Peace.